Somehow, Mario had found the strength to cross the desert's sweltering dunes. Ahead was a sprawling complex of ruins rising out of the sand. Thankful for the shade, Mario and Tippy ventured deeper inside. They were the very ruins Old Man Watchet had warned them about. What dangers lurked in the shading corridors ahead? Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Super Paper Mario. Today we are taking on Chapter 1-4, Monster of the Ruins. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mario, I can feel the calling. The pure heart is nearby. But wait, I sense something else emanating from the sand dunes. Be careful now, Mario. Something else is waiting for us ahead. Alright, welcome back to another episode of Super Paper Mario. Last time we took on the chapter 1-3, which was a lot of desert, and we were looking for the ruins. Uh, so yeah, we're in the ruins currently. We also fought one of Count Black's minions, um, O-Chunks, and I am developing my Scottish accent, so it's good. I want to dodge these guys. Yeah, so those guys, oh my god, what are they called? Oh, jeez. Ow, oh my god. Spinies? Like, these are, ooh, level up, nice. Uh, I forget what these guys are called, but they're like spinies or something, but without the spines. You know, the spiny without the spine. <gasps> we have more of those fire things, so I guess we can go through this door here, because that's where the game wants us to go. It looks like we have more of these fire bars, which... Yeah, we can just cheat, because the game said no. Uh... Another squiggly thing. Ooh, a fire thing. Fire burst. Royals enemies with a searing frame. Frame. Flame. Alright, so these are a uh, special kind of block where they're in 3D, you hit them, and then they can switch to 2D. 2D. We have these iron guys. A ruins key. Cool. You can just 3D. Mm, that's the one thing I'm not a huge fan about the 3D thing, because it's kind of like, it It, it kind of does take the challenge out of everything. So it's like, you know, eh, you don't have to do anything, because like, you know, like you can just flip into 3D and then you're safe. You know, like you're bypassing the entire thing. Not a huge fan of it. Oh god, gee, dude. Died. Oh. Okay, well I want these items box anyway, so we're gonna... Come on. Alright, cause we... Yeah. No? Nothing? So I was like, oh, we can like, you know, we can like cheese this or something. But no, the game's like, no. There's nothing here. Yeah, I guess there is nothing there. I can't even see it. Oh god. Whatever. It's a point of damage. We'll be fine. Alright. Let's go up here. Do we need a... Yeah, that's it. I want a single block to make it up there. Alright. What else we got over here? We got... Infinite supply of squiglets, so... Oh, I see, we probably have to throw them with the row. That's why they keep respawning instead of just giving us just a normal block or something. Hey, you come back here. I'm not done with you. Something happened outside of the room. Alright, so... Let's go investigate what happened. Bye, squiglets. Enjoy your hell room. I don't know what happened. Whew. Oh, I see. Completely unnecessary, if you ask me. So we used throw to get another room key. I guess we can take it this way. Fairly straightforward. Do you have anything interesting in 3D here? No, we do not. And we cannot go in that room. So I guess we'll have to come back to that later. 
So there wasn't even like the block that lets you flip. That like you flip it in 3D. So I guess we have to go back to that other room because that had um, the one with the fire bar in the middle. Because that you could like jump up on things. So I guess we'll have to come back later. Unless there's more over. No, 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 no. This was just. Yeah. Yeah, no, because that room was the one that was locked, so that was just an extra room. So we can just go through here then. Because as you saw, there's that little space back there, but we can jump up on here to find things. Just die. Did that somehow pass through the ceiling? I guess it did. I... Oh, excuse me. Okay, wait. I need to check if this has something in 3D, because I refuse to believe. Oh wow, it really is just literally nothing. I am shocked. Oh! I keep getting hit by the fire. Because I know... Hold on, wait. Give me... Give me a rock. Give me a rock. Die. <laughs> Cause like, I, I don't know, it's just with all the 3D stuff, I, I can't believe that they would just like leave an empty state. Like, no, wait, really? Did I miss something? I guess I must have missed something. That doesn't seem right that it's just an empty space, but it was. Maybe, I guess I must have missed something. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Oh, Jesus. There's something there, I'll show it to you. Why? Like, seriously, like, that's a non-existent puzzle, dude. <sighs> At least I went back to go get the, the, the extra life room, so, you know, not a terrible thing. So, we have another non-puzzle. <laughs> or we just need a flip in 3D. There is this section over. Okay, I guess that's what that's supposed to do. So that way you don't have to like jump on it. You can just climb up the back of the stairs there. Uh, so it puts you right on top, I guess. And see back there, there is a hidden thing. I'm going to just give myself a second to get the. Oh God! I just keep. The platforming in this game is just not precise enough. Um, but yeah, there's this... Just, we're floating in the void. Fantastic game design. A buzzy beetle part. So I guess that, that's what these things are called. Buzzy beetles. Not, like, spinies. I know there are spinies, and they have spikes, which, you know, understand... Oh my god! Just use the ruins key. We have nothing, just platform, I guess. So we can go either way, I think. Ah, a hidden ladder, I see. Trying to hide something from me, are you? Alright, so let's return to normal mode. There's no way we can jump that, so there's gotta be something in 3D. Which... there... Wait, wasn't... wasn't there, there a gap there? Oh, it's just a ledge! <laughs> I feel stupid. We have a giant button. Giant big red button. So, you know what that means. We gotta push it. Cause Big red buttons never have been known to say, don't push. And that peels away part of the floor, and they all just fall right down into it. So, let's follow them. Whee! Can land. Alright, just want to make sure we have everything in this area, so, you know, don't get angry at me. Bunch of red blocks. Uh, 
Oh god. Mmm, yes, I see. Let's hit them in order. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, like, I think it is creative how they use 3D in this game. Like, I do think it is, like, creative, but at the same time, like, I wish there was just a little bit more than just, you know, it's stone. Like, you know, it's just flipping the answers, like, right there. Like, I wish there was a little bit more to it, you know? It wasn't like a- ooh, gosh. I want the blue mushroom! Where did it go? Where did it go? Did it fall the way down here? Yes, it did. Whew. Good. <laughs> I wanted to make sure we have full health, you know? Alright, let's go up through here. Just a giant flat platform. I don't think we can go that way, so, you know, let's waste more time than we have to, you know. The Platinum Heart style. <laughs> the Royal Crest style. Warning! Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. Wait, scan initialized. Red cap detected. Blue overalls detected. Level 5 mustache detected. Incredible possible subject identification. But it is impossible. Hold your position. Searching databanks. Oh, that's cute. It's like the little Wii Shop loading icon. Search complete. One positive match. System overload. Legendary hero identified. Forgive me, hero. I am called Fracktail. My only purpose is to defend the pure heart from lawless intruders. You are late. I have waited thousands of years for your arrival. You may pass. The pure heart is just ahead. <laughs> Oh, it won't be that easy, oh no. Who speaks? So very nice to meet you, and your mustache. I am Cal Black's Masters of Dimensions. I am the pleaser of crowds. I am Dementio. Remember the name well. I know you, you're that. It would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with magic. Yes, yeah, much better. Now you and this robotic guardian can spend some quality time. Yes, quality snack time when he snacks on you. For you are the snack. Ciao. Oh, he called us a snack. What did he just... He complimented us, Tippy. Oh great, he's gone nuts, so. So now we gotta fight Fractale. Um. So. Yeah, he flies out into the distance. Which honestly, that's nice, because, like, it really. Like, he plays with the perspective. Like, that's nice and cool. You know. For, like, the Mario platformers that are 2D. You know, so yeah, so we want to just we can't do anything with him yet, but we want to just make sure we get out of his way. Right, so then he flies this way. Which, if I'm not mistaken, he looks like Fractale is charging straight at us. 
better watch out. So yeah, now he just charges straight at us like this, like right in the middle. So that's why we have to get him free. We want to jump right onto his back. And now we move up towards his head. And we see these tiny little things. And actually, this is why I bought that Mighty Tonic. So... Oh god, I have to like... <laughs> that looks way too, um... That, yeah, that looks way... a little too... Oh god, no, I'm missing. Okay. Now, you do have to run up, because I know there is a way where... Yeah, you can land right back onto his back. Like, you just have to be very careful about it, but you can. Come on. Come here. You come here. Nope. Okay, come on. Oh man, oh man. Do this again. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Whew! Third time! Awesome. Because if you fall off, then you have to do that whole thing where he's, like, charging at the front first. Oh god. Come on. And our potent thing kind of wore off, which is unfortunate, but, you know... System crash. I got, 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 I am Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I have malfunctioned. What have I done? Hero, hero, the arrow is mine. I'm sorry, I accidentally said error. <laughs> Same circuit, smoldering. Please, you must save our world. Honestly, that's a more emotional story than the entirety of Nier Automata. Like, let's be real. <laughs> Alright, let's just act like none of that ever happened. Down here, we have the pure heart. So, welcome, hero. My name is Merlumina. I am a dormant soul. I have waited long to give you the pure heart. Yes, I have been waiting for 1500 years. Your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Yes, they have, in fact. That's why we're here. Before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak. Listen well, hero. Long, long ago, my people built a civilization hailed as a beacon of culture. Sadly, despite our power, there is one thing we were powerless to stop. The Dark Prognosticus. Nobody knows who authorized the Dark Book. It foretold the events of the future. On the last page, it was written that a chaotic power would devour the world. We knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest minds devised a grand plan to stop the tragedy before it happened. We needed something with the pure essence of love to confront this chaos. Researchers set to work, and they created the Purity Heart. We divided the Purity Heart into eight pieces and hid them in different dimensions. We hid them for their own protection, waiting for the day the hero would arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. But the wheels of destiny began to spin wildly out of control. It began with a very small incident. At that time I was young and quite beautiful. It started the day I met two very fetching young men. And you see, my life set sail towards a maelstrom of love. You see, I asked one out, but however it was... Well, you know, basically it, and then I said, and then he said, and then that, and mm, yada 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 And that is why we hope the Purity Heart will have the power to defeat chaos. To save all worlds, we must find the eight pure hearts and form the Purity Heart. And that is all I have to say on the matter. 
Were you listening carefully? Yeah, of course we were. Excellent. I did tell the short version, so I wasn't sure if you would fully understand. It is up to you to find the pure hearts, for they are our last and only hope. Go forth, hero, and save the worlds. We are all depending on you. Oh boy! You got a pure heart! End of chapter. Before disappearing, Merlumina had entrusted Mario to save every world. She had waited 1500 years to deliver the message to the legendary hero. With the second pure heart in hand, Mario was in great spirits. But six pure hearts still remained to be found, and the journey had just begun. With a flurry, or, or not flurry, with a flutter to be said, I think we'd better return to Flipside. The weight of every world's fate once again rested on Mario's shoulders. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, leave a like, maybe consider subscribing, or leave a comment, whatever feels good for you. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys then.